Solid Signal podcast for the week of July 14th, 2014. I'm actually recording this on July 11th, which is a few days early, because we've been informed that our West Coast Operations Center may have a little bit of street repairs on the outside, and I didn't want to have any of that noise in the podcast. You deserve to hear nothing but my beautiful, mellifluous voice. I know. Silly, right? You know, there's a new channel in town, a new lifestyle channel, they call it, called FYI. First of all, I should tell you that it replaces the old biography channel, which, granted, you probably haven't watched in about a decade. I know that I haven't, and that's why it went away. But biography at least stood for something. You knew what you were getting. Biographical content. FYI is more, you know, well, there's stuff and there's... I don't know, youth-oriented content, whatever that means, and lifestyle stuff, and whatever that means. You know, I don't think I'll be watching much of that channel either, and it kind of makes me a little upset. Here's where I get it. There's a lot of channels out there. You know, if you have a specific interest, for example, ducks or housewives or that sort of thing, there's channels that have you covered. No question about that. So it's got to be hard to launch a new channel with any idea of a specific market in mind. and If you get too narrow, well, then you're not going to do very well. So it is hard. But that doesn't mean that we deserve another channel full of the same stuff. Right now, FYI is showing reruns of Wife Swap, which is, of course, the height of modern culture. But lest you think that they're going to lay back and rely on those old reruns, they've got a whole spate of new reality programming that well, is simply designed to make you shake your head. If you thought there weren't enough dating shows in the world, try Married at First Sight, where two people who don't know each other get married. That's it. Hilarity ensues, folks. Come on. I just feel like there are two possibilities here, folks. Either we deserve better, and these broadcast industry executives are really underestimating what people are capable of watching and enjoying, or... This is exactly the kind of TV that we deserve, given the fact that so many of us are addicted to these reality shows in the first place. Hey, if it's your entertainment of choice, I don't judge. I mean, everybody's got to find a way to sit back and relax. But remember, if you show people that you really like this kind of stuff, there's going to be more of this kind of stuff. And sooner or later, good, honest, hardworking writers who write real scripts, they're going to be out of work. And the people who produce that kind of quality entertainment, like Game of Thrones or Orange is the New Black or any of the top, top Emmy-rated, or I should say Emmy-nominated programs, well, they're going to be out of work because networks are going to think that you don't want that stuff. Support the programs you like. Support the channels that do original, quality programming. And don't support the ones that are just putting out the same mindless drivel. I guarantee, folks... If you want mindless drivel, there's mindless drivel out there already for you. Just look for it. You don't need more. But, of course, I don't mean to demean any of the people who make this uh, new reality programming or the people over at FYI. After all, if there's a market for it, the market will come out. And they'll make money, and that's what the broadcast industry is all about. Not necessarily winning awards. So... Vote with your dollars, vote with your eyeballs. I know that personally, that's not my cup of tea, and I've got plenty of other kinds of mindless drivel to waste my time on. Uh, And I rather wish that maybe FYI Network had been something that I was interested in, but I wasn't expecting it. That's about all I wanted to say at the Solid Signal podcast. You know, other than to just tell you, The folks at Solid Signal keep the lights on here at our West Coast Operations Center. They pay for this podcast and all the equipment that we use making it. And they pay for the Solid Signal blog and all the great tutorial content that you'll find there. So, yes, it's a little bit of a commercial. And I know that I just did a complete shill job about a month ago. But if you happen to check out SolidSignal.com, you'll find there's a great selection of the stuff that you really want. And at the Solid Signal blog, you'll find the stuff you need to know. If you have an idea for a future podcast, push that Suggest a Topic button at the Solid Signal blog, and we'll see you again next week.